Today's video, I want to discuss three mindsets that sabotaged my natural hair journey over the past 11 years. And we're gonna talk about them and how to overcome them. But as we're chatting, I'll be re-moisturizing my hair. And if you wanna know what I'm using, that info will be in the description box below. Mindset number one, short-sightedness. Being short-sighted is like looking through a narrow tube. You can only see a small part of the big picture, so you might not make the best decisions because you're not considering everything that's happening around you or the long-term vision. I struggled with this because I wanted instant gratification. So I did what would give me instant satisfaction without considering how it affects the long-term goal. Some consequences of being short-sighted include delay, regret, and disappointment. So before you make any decisions when it comes to your hair, ask yourself, is this going to help me achieve my hair goals? Does this push me forward or push the vision forward? Mindset number two, inconsistency. Inconsistency is like a roller coaster ride. Just as a roller coaster goes up and down, inconsistency involves going back and forth between different regimens, products, styles. You know, I could never stick to something long enough to see if it will work. And it can be a bumpy ride that's unpredictable and difficult to control, much like a roller coaster. And also inconsistency be can stem from boredom, and boredom obviously is a result of discontentment. So some consequences of being inconsistent include unpredictability, fluctuation, and breakage. If you're always in your hair, always changing regimens, always doing this, that obviously leads to wear and tear on your beautiful tresses. You wanna develop discipline and set up a reward system for achieving those milestones. That's why I have a natural hair growth goal journal so that I'm able to keep up with what I'm doing and also see the rewards or reward myself as I go along the year. And the final mindset, which I think is a secret killer, is double-mindedness. Double-mindedness is like trying to sail a boat in two opposite directions at the same time. The conflicting forces will pull you back and forth, making it difficult to move forward effectively or reach your destination. Now, the difference between double-mindedness and inconsistency is that inconsistency is more about how you do things, and double-mindedness is more about what you want or believe. It's having two minds minds. When you have two minds operating in you, it involves wanting two opposite things at the same time or being unsure which course of action to take. This goes beyond trying to decide what restaurant you want to dine at or which shoes to put on with a dress. It shows not having convictions or strong values that drives decision making. For example, I wanted long hair for the longest, but I also wanted to do things to my hair that wouldn't support long hair goals. So you want to identify the conflicting desires, make a decision and stand by it. Be a woman or man of your word. These three mindsets tell me that it requires a deep sense of self-awareness to confront these issues. You can literally ruin your life and be robbed of every blessing God wants you to have because of them. Products and techniques are no good if you don't have the mental foundation to uphold those things. I've had great regimens in the past, but I didn't have the character, heart, and focus to see those things through. So a big solution for me, which is the solution for every dilemma I face in life, is to surrender myself to to God's beauty work. And really that's just a fluffy way of saying, deny myself daily, take up the cross, take up the cross of Jesus Christ and follow him. That's putting my faith in him and his finished work to undo the damage of the sin nature to my mind and allow his Holy Spirit to renew my mind, to give me the mind of God, to give me the mind of Christ so that I began to behave and live in a way that brings me closer to God's blessings, closer to my goals, because guess, guess what? Long hair is a promise for me and every woman out there. Now, granted, it's not to say that if you don't have long hair, you don't want long hair, you're not unworthy. But this, there is a scriptural, scriptural evidence that God blesses women to have long hair. It's her glory and it's her covering. And so I can hold on to this promise so long as my mind is renewed and begins to agree with God that a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. The, the crazy thing about these mindsets is they're so intertwined. And so one can be a result of the other, but ultimately at the end of it all, the, the main thing is that we're being double-minded. 
So again, just to reiterate, identify those conflicting desires, make a decision and stand by it. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. I encourage you all to stay persistent and committed to your hair growth journey. And if there are any mindsets that you have personally struggled with that you felt has contributed to your lack of progress and you believe that it will be helpful for the Coily Cold community, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Thumbs this video up and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. God bless. Bye.